Shalom, Brakta Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Kakadash. Shalom to all the prophets out there delivering, pushing this truth. Hey, um, so by now, you know, Israel has uh, struck Iran and its other uh, territories, if you will, right? Kind of like the United States, right? Uh, for example, the Virgin Islands is not a part of the immediate United States, but that's also part of their territories. All right. That's why when you hear things like Syria and, you know, Iran proxies or whatever they want to call them in Iraq and Hezbollah and all that stuff. Right. The, Iran, those are still their territories. All right. America does it all the time. Like Hawaii. Hawaii is really not a part of the United States, but they just took it over. Anyway, point being. Um, show a little bit of this video. This is what's going on. This is Iranian de defense. Um, here, I'll play it and just kind of. Right? This is what's going on. Right? They got jets all in the sky. They got their, you know, missile defense systems going off. And all this was around by 5 a.m. their time over there. Right? So I think, um, you see, you, you can see. Sound like it's about to break over there. So that's what you're seeing in the sky. Those who will know anything about the military, things like that. You know, they got their jets flying in the sky. They got, you know, their surface to air missiles shooting things down, the SAMs, etc. Right? Um, this goes on for probably about two minutes. I'm not going to really play it all. Um, my point is to this, let me go ahead and pause this. My point is to this. Uh, a few days ago, I think I said, hey, look, these next, you know, couple of weeks, you may want to get in the habit of when you're going to sleep or when you get in the house for the day, at least make sure you got a half tank of gas or your gas tank is always full. Right. Because um, as of right now, you know, oil has already went up around six o'clock our time. It went up three. The moment this happened, the price of oil went up because I said Iran was going to shut everything down. Right now it's up like 4.5 percent. It's going to go up and up and up and up. Right. Same thing with your gas. It's not going to affect you right now, but it's, it's going to trickle down. It's going to get there. All right. So with that being said, all this is in the prophecies. Right. So, so, so you know, all, I know several different <laughs> Israelite brothers. We, 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 we've been telling people. Right. We've been, you know, warning that the sword is coming. OK. So the scriptures say. Iran and Russia, the scriptures say that they're not bluffing and they're not going to care about if they mess up the stock market, if they mess up, you know, oil, gas, gold, money, United States, Israel, all of them. They're not going to be able to pay them to stop nothing. They said they're not going to care. Remember, Iran stated if Israel responds and attacks them, their response is going to be immediate and it's going to be a like they're going to be devastated, right? It's going to, they're just going to be destroyed. They're not bluffing. The scriptures say that, all right? As a matter of fact, let's just go, let's just get into some of that right now, right? If we go right to uh, Isaiah, right? And Yahweh Shah mentioned this too, right? Christians, y'all can't ignore these scriptures. Yahweh Shah mentioned that too, right? We're going right to Isaiah, right? Chapter 13, verse Verse, uh, well, not that one, 11, which that's that's still a cut too, but I'm just gonna get right to it, right? Right here, right? Babylon will fall to the Medes. Now, this, this is talking about, right? This is talking about Babylon today, Babylon the Great today, because remember, this is the daughter of the Chaldeans. This ain't talking about the old Chaldeans, the old, uh, this is during the rebirth, the Renaissance, right? That's why they have the Renaissance period. This is them now, right? Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, right? Which shall not regard silver. And as far as gold, they shall not delight in it. That's the most high telling us like, yo, when, when they pop off the, the, the money, the coins, right? When they raid on this homeland and in the UK and in France and all the other allies that they got, they going to invade. The scriptures say they are. You know, everybody, I got money. I got money. Please run to my house. All the, all the stuff you... You know, your your your, your cool white co-workers and all that stuff they got, they not going to care. Well, my dad's the, the vice president of... They're not going to care. They're going to dash them to pieces. They're going to drag them outside, like the scriptures say, and they're going to off with their heads, right? But 
Let me keep going, right? Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. So he's talking about those nukes, talking about those missiles, those ballistic missiles, those seven that they shot off that Israel couldn't stop. They stopped them with cheap drones. Israel, Iran didn't care about that. But them ballistic missiles that they shot off, they didn't stop not one of them. Not one. And they only sent seven. So they said if they respond, it's only popping. All right. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Right. And their eyes shall not spare children. They're going to get Tanner, Jennifer. Right. Kylie. They're going to get all of them. They, can, they don't care. They get all of them. Right. And Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms. Right. The beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. So that all this stuff he's talking about ain't happened yet. This Russia is going to get all involved in this. Right. They talk about the Medes, Gog, Magog. That's it's Russia, Iran, all them going. This is this is popping off. When I say I tell people all the time, World War Three started two and a half years ago. The moment Russia invaded Ukraine, that was the start of World War Three. It was going to start off slow. That was the start. That's when these prophecies start. When this portion of the prophecy start start popping off, the scripture said he was going to use the least of them to bring them out. Let me, in fact, let's get that. Uh, Jeremiah forty nine, right? Forty nine and third. Nah, nah. That's when Yahweh shot going to eat them up. Not that one. Yeah, right there, 49, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 20, right? This was the most high saying he was going to use the, 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 the least of them. When it says to bring them out, it's talking about Babylon. It's talking about big, bad America. They jump in and fight for Israel, shoot down a lot of the, uh, Iran's drones and all that, etc. It's saying, I'm going to use the least of them. He was going to use Ukraine and Israel to bring out America, to bring out Babylon the Great. That's who the Most High really wants. He's getting all of them. Don't get it twisted. But that's who he wants down at the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. We're going to get that. And if you look over there where they're fighting, you're looking at Iran, you're looking at uh, the Red Sea, you're looking at the Mediterranean, you're looking at that whole area over there, that's the Valley of, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. It's going to be that whole area. The Most High said, no, 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 I need America over there. Right now, they're not over there. They can send a couple of jets and all that. He said, no, 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 no. I need them all over here. So that's what's going on, right? Verse 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that had taken against Edom. See, that is Esau. Proof that Esau is going to be ruling and controlling the earth here in the end times. And the end time prophecy also states that what? The Israelites will be under slavery under Esau. The people over there in Israel right now are not... Uh, in the land that are captives, because when the when the Lord come back, when Yahweh shall come back, part of the prophecy is we still going we have to be saved. That's being saved. That's salvation because we still in the land of our slavery, right? This is why he's saying it. And we start over. Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that he had taken against Edom and his purposes that he had purposed against the inhabitants of Taman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out that's ukraine and that's israel that is what you see in present day prophecy right now right surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them this is what's going to happen all right and matter of fact i want to go back to to isaiah 13 because it said they wouldn't delight in gold and silver etc right it said they wouldn't delight in it uh dun, 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 dun. Right. Verse 17. Right. It was stir. I behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So everything is going to hit the fan and the cost of everything going to go up. It's going to be about I did this study uh, several times. Revelation six. It talks about how all the food, um, the food, the water is going to cost about five, six, seven hundred dollars just for a plate of food. All this stuff in to pop off. It's going to look like the book of Eli. There it is right there. Revelation chapter six, verse five. This is what you're seeing. So y'all keep an eye on what, what's going on. Iran probably going to respond in the next few days, just so you know. It might even be in the next few hours. Right? 
And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld and lo, a black horse and him that sat on the behind had a pair of balances in his hand because the most high is he's 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 just he's even he's fair. A false balance is an abomination. Right. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the Israelites. The oil and the wine represents the Israelites. Right. So now that measure of wheat for a penny, when we break all that down, I've done several breaks down, breakdowns on that. I think one is pinned to my page. A plate of food, just a small plate of food, going to be a weekly pay, the average weekly pay. So let's say $20 an hour, you work 40 hours a week, whatever that number is, that's going to be the cost for one plate of food. That just one plate, that's just your breakfast, not lunch, not dinner, and that's just one plate. So we're talking about anywhere from five to eight hundred dollars for one plate of food. That's how it's finna get, right? Them shipping containers shut down. That's why them bridges and all that been collapsing. The food ain't nothing coming into them ports. That's what's going on, right? The on hurt not the oil and the wine, right? Because knowledge and wisdom are gonna be stability of the times. The most high gonna be with the men of the Lord right now. He gonna be with the Israelites, right? That's what the oil and the wine represents. Matter of fact, let's get that in uh Matthew. 25 and then we'll close out right parable of the 10 virgins so this is how the kingdom of heaven is going to look going up into the kingdom of heaven going through these wars and going through the gates this is how it's going to look then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto 10 virgins which took their lamps and went forward to meet the bridegroom they went forward to meet Yahweh, right five of them are wise he's talking about the israelites five of them were wise and five were foolish oh i know we hebrew oh yeah we good bro just like the ladies Oh, I know the Bible, yada, yada, yada. Five wise, five foolish. Everybody's so woke now, right? But he's going to show you who the wise ones are, right? They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Uh, they know the Israelites, they good. They could just keep it, keep it moving, right? But the wise took oil. Remember he said, hurt not the oil. Took oil in their vessels with their lamps. So this is in us. We know what's going to happen next. We know to, you're not supposed to eat shrimp, pork, lobster, crab, crawfish, boys. We know women not supposed to wear blue jean pants. We know men not supposed to be dressing like women and vice versa. We know we're not supposed to be doing these pagan holidays. We know you're supposed to keep the law, period. The Most High never did away with that, right? We know that. That's the oil, right? While the bridegroom tarried, all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out and meet him. Right. So Yahweh shot coming. Right. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. So when everything pop off, everybody's so woke now. Oh, that war going. Oh, say, bro, what's up? What's next? Verse eight. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us your oil. Now you want to learn about the scriptures and what's going to happen next and where you supposed to be and what you supposed to do and what you can eat and what you can wear and what holy days you're supposed to do and that you're not supposed to celebrate your birthday. And, and X, Y, Z, all the knowledge and the wisdom, all the oil and the wine, now they want it. That's why they're saying, now give us your oil for our lamps are gone out. Like our pastor said, we only had to keep the Ten Commandments. I didn't know I was supposed to do the rest of that. What am I supposed to do? Because they're going to understand that that's the only way you're getting out of this. Because the most high going to be with the men of the Lord, right? But the wise answered and said, so those the, the Israelites who are keeping the law answered and said, no, not so. Let's there be enough for us and for you. That's why Yahweh Shah told us, hey, get your house in order. Everybody who who who, who around you who've been following y'all, the scriptures say, uh, take heed unto the doctrine, and you should save thyself and those who hear you. He said, No. You worry about when all this pop off, when this intensifies, then people gonna realize us, what y'all call us power rangers, we're gonna realize who was telling the truth, us or your pastor. Because your pastor ain't telling you what's going on right now, right? But the wise answer saying, no, lest there be enough for us and you, but go rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Now, you got to go through and deal with everything we done went through. Loss of friends, loss of family, jobs, right? Husbands, wives, brothers and sisters done went through this, right? Verse 10, and while they went to buy, Yahweh Shah came. And they that were ready, those who was already keeping the law, those who were the first fruits, he ain't got to tell us we ain't supposed to eat pork and crab. We know they're going into the kingdom. Went into him with the marriage and the door was shut. So with that, stay vigilant, prayed up, shalom.